morning it is uh friday august 16th and i'm going back to my classroom for the first time since june um so yeah so we were supposed to be able to get in our classroom on monday august 12th but the building was being cleaned so we had to wait until today so i have stuff in my trunk that i need to drop off and I may stay in my classroom and do just a little bit of work. But I just dropped my dog Blue off at daycare for the day. And I have to go take my car to get looked at because um, like a support, something underneath the car is not attached. So I have to take that in to get looked at. So I'm going to do that now. And then I will head to my classroom. So I'm in my classroom and I realized that before I didn't introduce myself so my name is Shree I am a third grade teacher in Germany this is my sixth year teaching um, so I teach for DODEA which is Department of Defense Education Activity on an army base here since this is where we are stationed um, so yeah so I'll flip the camera around and show you all what my classroom is looking like they did clean the classroom so it's not exactly how I left it but it's also not terrible either so I'll show you what it looks like so right now I'm standing at the back sink of the classroom and so these cubbies here cubbies I um, got from another teacher that wasn't using them so I'm just gonna try to get those labels off and what I can I'll just cover with student numbers um, this is the back area of my classroom where my circle table will go and then there's the sink where I was standing so I have a great big window that lets in a lot of sun and it's re usually really, really hot um, in the summer months. So I try to keep the blinds closed for that. Um, shelving. These are my tables. That area up there is my teacher area. And that area back there will be in the library. And then the whiteboard and smart board. That door is to our pod more shelving and then this whole wall here is cabinet space so i have a to-do list um of things that i want to get done today i'm going to be here until three o'clock and right now it's 10 15 so i have quite a bit of time so i think what i'm going to do first is do my bulletin boards just get the paper up and the border up um and then work on putting back out my tables how i want them To be daring, baby, dance the night away. I let my head down if I want. Don't you just get tired chasing fame and being pretty all the time? Doesn't sound like fun. You can do better. Let me show you what a good time looks like. You can do better. So much better. If I want. So I have the one bulletin board done. And now I'm going to move on to that one. Hopefully I still have enough paper because as you saw, like I ran out of the one roll. So I had to add, which is where that crease is right there. Um, so yeah, so I'm going to move on to the next bulletin board. Hopefully I have enough paper to cover it. If not then I don't know but we'll see I want to be daring baby dance the night away I let my head down if I want don't you just get tired chasing fame and being pretty all the time doesn't sound like fun you can do better let me show you what a good time looks like You can do better, so much better mm -hmm. I don't fit till your bar's beauty 
Okay, so I don't know if you could tell, but I measured that bulletin board that I'm trying to do right now. And I don't have enough paper for it. So I'm going to go downstairs and see if we have any black butcher board paper. And then I can um, do like the sides of the board with the black butcher board paper. The only thing though is that I plan to use that board to track um, the words that they've read this school year. And the paper that I'm going to use is black. So I don't want to put black on that board. So maybe they have white. I don't know. I'll go down and check to see. And I'll keep you posted. Alrighty. So I found the black paper. So what I think I'm going to do is, I don't know. Um, I want to do the whole board in that paper that I have on. I don't know if you can see it on that board. But, <sighs> yeah. So I have the black paper, so I may just do black on the two outer sides and then do the middle with that paper. But yeah, we shall see. So I'm out of breath because I just <laughs> went downstairs and then walked all the way back upstairs with this roll of black paper. So I guess I should get started on that. It's 11 o'clock already and I want to stop and eat my lunch at 12 so hopefully I can crank this out once I get the boards covered I'm going to put out my tables and rearrange those and then I need to make copies I also need to laminate but I don't know if the lamination machine has enough of the lamination plastic I guess I don't know <sighs> but yeah let's get started To be daring, baby, dance the night away. I let my head down if I want. Don't you just get tired chasing fame and being pretty all the time? Doesn't sound like fun. You can do better. Let me show you what a good time looks like. You can do better. So much better. to do is put my teal border around the whole thing and then put border down the middle to section off the the wood looking paper white wash paper white wood whatever it's called I don't know um, and then see what that looks like I think it'll be okay and then I can put um, our million word reader over there in the middle and then I can put um, our goals or maybe just put like, I have like letters that spell read, put read that way. And then I have a quote to go above it about reading. And then the other side is my teacher area. So I'm gonna put um, like my diplomas over there. And yeah, <sighs> I don't know, but if you can't tell, I do not like doing bulletin boards. Um, I just don't like it. So my bulletin boards, they never change in my classroom. Um, I don't display student work in my classroom. I know you're like, oh, clinch pearls. She doesn't display student work, but I don't. Uh, we have like in our hallway, like a strip, like a, a strip along the wall outside of, of our hallway. So that's what I display. Oh, this is dirty. That's where I display. Um, my student work so I'm just gonna continue to do it that way and they like seeing their work in the hallway plus um, I have a bulletin board in the hallway as well where I where I display student work so it's not like they don't see it it's here it's represented in it and in the past like my students have really loved walking past um, their work in the hallway so that's the way I do it that's how I've always done it and that's how I will continue to do it 
in the classroom, um, I usually just decorate with anchor charts, as you'll see, like, throughout the school year. Hopefully, I'll be able to vlog, and you'll see, like, the room starts off very bare, and then it just fills up with anchor charts, and that's usually all I do. So, yeah, I'm going to put the border up on this wall, and then I'll check back with you. To be daring, baby, dance the night away. I let my head down if I want. Don't you just get tired chasing fame and being pretty all the time? Doesn't sound like fun. You can do better. Let me show you what a good time looks like. You can do better. So much better. If I want Let yourself be free And maybe you will find That there is more to life Than being pretty Honey, let's just face it You can do better Let me show you what a good time looks like Okay, so Corker came in And we started talking about summer And all that stuff So in that time While she was here I did get the board done So I'll show you what it looks like so this is the board, it looks pretty good. So now I'm going to move on to putting out my tables and moving back my rug and getting my library area set up how I want it. I want to be daring, baby, dance the night away. I let my head down if I want. Don't you just get tired chasing fame and being pretty all the time? Doesn't sound like fun. You can do better. Let me show you what a good time looks like. You can do better. So much better. If I want Let yourself be free And maybe you will find That there is more to life Than being pretty Honey, let's just face it You can do better Let me show you what a good time looks like You can do better So much better breath for moving the tables um i think that's how i had it set up before i left in june i i mean it is what it is right now so i have five tables four chairs at each table each classroom caps out at 20 students so there are four third grade classrooms and each class like i said tops out at 20 so if every classroom is full then we'll have two four six eighty 83rd graders um, which is pretty good like I like the classroom size last year I had 20 students um, so yeah I just like even numbers and it's um, easy for the kids to work in groups or in pairs um, and then for example if a student is absent we'll do like a trio um, so yeah so it's noon now and I was gonna stop to eat but considering I'm not very hungry right now because I'm busy I think I may just have a snack uh, one of the snacks that I brought and then I'll just eat what I plan to eat for lunch maybe for dinner but we'll see so I'm going to take a break and then I'm going to see if I can log into the computer and request some time off so I'm going to do that now okay so I'm sitting um at my computer well in my teacher area rather waiting for my computer to load up 
uh, because we have to sign it with our ID card, our ID cards. Um, and if it's a new computer, it takes a little bit longer. So right now, it's taking a little bit longer to log me in. So I'm sitting here looking at what I need to do in the classroom, and I have a to-do list, so I'll show you that. So here's my to-do list. I don't know if you can really read it because it's really small. I need to put the contact paper, bulletin boards, or contact paper on the chair, on the tables. Bulletin boards, I did that, and I have one in the hallway that I need to get done. Um, redo the where are you, so I don't know if you can see on the door over there. Let me see if I can zoom in. So on the door over there, I have like, where are you? So when the kids come in in the morning, they move their number from home to school. And then it also says bathroom and nurse. Um, but I'm going to change it and add like bathroom, nurse, library, and water because I do allow my kids to go to the library if they finish their work early. So yeah, so I need to do my classroom library. I need to do uh, my classroom rewards, which is the brownie points that are there. And then print student names. And then these are my bulletin boards that I need to do. Okay, so I sort of got my board up there for my million word readers done. I mean, it's not how I wanted it to look, but I have to fit 20 kids into that space, so I'll show you that. And then um, I'll just flip the camera around and show you what I did. So I got the board up for my million word readers. I don't love it, but it is what it is. I have like the numbers to put on the papers. So each of my students have a number, so one through 20 to put on the papers, on those papers with uh, clothes pins. And then I'll just change it out as they fill up the sheet. I put this stuff on this back table, never mind my scissors in my Duck and Donuts cup, but yeah. So that will be on this back table and I have like a little mason jar with lights that I'm gonna put in the tray too. And then over there I just put up reading and I have my two um, dry erase sleeves that I'll put like my learning standards and then my I can statement. And then I'll do the same thing with this side, but for math. And then you saw the tables. So yeah. the time is now 1.47. Um, I said I was gonna work until three o'clock, which I'm going to do. I'm just like, you know how you get um, sidetracked and you get done and you get tired of doing things. That's where I am right now. So I keep jumping from project to project to project. So yes, yeah, so I think I'm gonna put that tree where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Yeah. That tree that's in that corner and bring it over here to this corner. Um, yeah, and I think I'm going to try to straighten up my teacher area so that when I bring in the rest of my stuff for that space on Monday, it's all, you know, set and ready to go. The desk that's over there that the computer is on is going to get moved. And I need to lower those desks. Take the legs off of those desks. Um, so yeah, so I guess I'll keep working until three o'clock and then I'm gonna go pick up my dog from daycare and then go home. Okay, so I have 30 minutes left in my classroom for today. And I feel like I got stuff done, but I also feel like I didn't get anything done at all. So I'll pan around and show you what I have done so far. Um, yeah, so I'll show you. So I'm sitting at the back um, sink in my classroom and I got this table done. I said I have like some twinkle lights and a mason jar that I'm going to put back here later. Then I moved the tree that was up there back here and I like it back here. I got my table set out. Um, I did the bulletin board how I want it. I have my easel. Um, yeah. Um, what else? I did this front bulletin board. I put the three um dry erase leaves here and that's why i'll keep my data so i have to make um labels for the three different ones so for math reading and then like reading inventory that we do i need to do my bulletin board my bulletin board, my whiteboard label that which i might do that now since i have 30 minutes left and then i put that little makeshift bulletin board on the door i'm going to secure it with uh, double-sided tape so that it doesn't come up. And then that's where I'll keep my multiplication masters there. Um, yeah, so I didn't show you what was inside my cabinet. So I need to redo my daily schedule because that won't be our schedule this year. It'll be a little bit different. 
Um, so inside this first cabinet is our reading curriculum is on this side and then like these are all the books that go to my classroom library and I have more books at home that I need to bring and then in this second cabinet it's pretty empty um, I need to put those math manipulatives back up at the top where they go to belong in I think this cabinet up here but I'm not sure um, so anywho, so this is where I'll keep all the kids school supplies. We'll do community supplies. So this is where I'll keep everything here. Um, and then this, this cabinet is where I keep my things. So for my coat and then I have the, uh, some games here and they'll go on the shelf. And then I have like hot cocoa for my Keurig, which I need to stay calm because I'm not leaving my Keurig here this school year and then I have some leftover tissue microphone and those are like some books for uh, test prep and then this cabinet has like some more science curriculum um, a wax warmer paint supplies or art supplies and then these two bins here is what I, what I put out for my kids to drop their um, homework and turning basket so so I don't have um, much really to do. Like I really organized and cleaned before I left in June so that when I came back, it would be a lot easier to set my classroom back up. Um, so yeah, I'm not too thrilled about the way my library area is looking, but I mean, it's okay, it is what it is. So I think I'm going to either do my board, which I probably won't, I think I may get my teaching area together so that so that that is complete so I will check back with you later okay so it's three o'clock and well it's 2 53 um, and I'm done I'm just so tired it's so much to do and so little time so I think I got like a lot done I didn't really do much from what I showed you in the last clip I just kind of somewhat organized my teaching area which wasn't much um, and so I have everything that I'm going to work on in my teacher bag here. Um, I have like a little small stack of furniture and like organizational things that I'm not going to use, uh, stacked up that I'll put in the hallway next week. I was going to lower the desk, but I don't have an Allen wrench the size of the screws, I guess, that I need. So I'm not going to worry about that. But I am, I don't know what I was going to say. I'm just tired. So this is day one of setting back up my classroom for the upcoming school year. Um, next week, everybody reports back um, to the building. And we have PD for the first two days, so Monday and Tuesday. And then for the rest of the week, I think, is our time in the class in our classrooms. So I do have a good chunk of time to get everything set up and ready to go for the school year um but yeah so i'm going to go i'll probably do like next week my first official week back i'll probably do that in one long video but we'll see so yeah i'm going to leave i'll pan around and show you what my classroom looks like right now and then i'm going to head out the door To be daring, baby, dance the night away. I let my head down if I want. Don't you just get tired chasing fame and being pretty all the time? Doesn't sound like fun. You can do better. Let me show you what a good time looks like. You can do better. So much better. So like I said, I'm getting ready to head out the door. I'm going to pick up my dog from daycare, and I will see you all next time.